naughty. We're going to find out if you're really naughty. Okay. What's your biggest turn off? Oh my gosh. Hide bad hygiene. Like everything, like teeth, smelling, like like what? Everything, just the bad smells, the the bad uh, smells that elude out of <laughs> what? The bad the bad smells that elude out of a man. Yeah, a woman. I just I want people to be clean, shaven. Doesn't mean that you have to like shave everything. If have you're you a ever lady. had a bad experience? I mean, hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Not a yeah, just a hell yeah. Many, many people okay. don't know about hygiene. And so that can be unfortunate on set. As of you know. these many people, what was the one time that stuck out your head the most that was a bad hygiene problem? I mean, multiple <laughs> times where I have been asked to give a blowjob on camera and that person did not prep their penis well. And, you know, it has just fucking <sighs> been jarring. It's happened more than once, okay? <laughs> I'm not even afraid to name a name. <laughs> Do it. I want the truth. Whose dick was jarring that he did not get set ready? Nacho Vidal. Okay. One of the scariest moments of my life. Why? Because of what his dick looked like? Okay, but okay, no. wait, hold on. <laughs> wait, pause. Just because of him? Because he threw a remote control at the wall behind my head and I was scared for my life. <laughs> After you, because, I said, go you, baby, wipe your fucking dick. Okay. Oh now. my God. Thank God I got that out. No, Thank you. You should. You should never hold anything. You know, well, you I just never told out. anybody that. I'm glad that you shared here with Private Talk because we like to hear these new things. But let's that talk about gnarly. this. Let's break it down. Okay. So for those people out there for Private After Dark, what is for a man, what does that prepping your dick mean? Like, what does that mean? And what was on his dick? And why? Like... So many questions, a, right? <laughs> I fucked Nacho before, too, and I made him tap out. His dick was... Nothing was wrong with it, but, I mean, each day is different. We're, you each know, day is different. Each each person, like you said earlier, has a different relationship with whoever they're on set. Okay, let's get back to um, the dick that was not wiped. <laughs> Get back to business. Okay. Okay. I'm telling you, there was a smell that smelled have a, like wait, poop hold. coming from his penis. I, I forget because it's been a long time since I fucked it's his penis. Is he, but is he um, circumcised or not? I'm going to assume not, but I have absolutely no idea. It because was there, that long because ago. Because there's, that's why I'm like, I No idea. So like a man who would be uncircumcised, I feel like has more of a job to clean up before 100%. set because there's foreskin involved and whatever you chose to do with your woman or whoever you're fucking in that morning and then you chose to go to set, clean your business. So I get it on that. But was it totally. something like that situation or like, like did he pull it back and I, you're like, I'm not putting that in my mouth, homie. I love an uncircumcised penis because I feel like there's just more a cushion for the push in. I just in prefer your asshole, it. Yes. Just, <laughs> I just prefer it. I know. Okay. I, I just like it. I think it's like a natural thing. I just, I mean, I married one, you know, I threw it away after all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get what you're saying. Yeah. So it's my preference. So no hate on the uncircumcised. We don't even know at this point if Nacho is circumcised or uncircumcised. I'm sure in the comments somewhere below, we'll have somebody somebody will somebody will do this hope, research. I okay. Because I really don't, that's kind of sad that we both have fucked him and we don't know. Or I did mean, you even fuck him at all? Because of the No. Okay. No, I didn't. I didn't even. I did. I oh. made him tap out. That was my greatest I mean, accomplishment. Okay, back yeah, to the dirty he, He's a go. legend. It's, I'm not taking that away from him. He's a freaking legend. People talk about this guy. But again, each encounter is different. All I know. And honestly, <laughs> okay, yeah, I still have a lot of questions. I yeah. can't let you finish your story. I'm no, sorry. I know. Ask him, ask him. But it's like, were you, like, how did you say? Because for me, too, it's like what you have said, like, your words may not be the problem, but it's your delivery. We're like, hey, like, what you're like, your dick is dirty. Or, like, what, how do you even address that, that he'd get that mad? Because I also feel like it's his responsibility that if I have to tell you as a performer, that's out of pocket because you should know your dick is dirty. <laughs> okay, out of pocket is 100% the term I would use because this was for our own website. I'll help your vocabulary out of pocket. You can steal that one. From yeah. Me. <laughs> it was for our own websites and he pulled down his pants and I literally <laughs> I don't know why that sounds got funny. like a, a whiff of it. Like a, I was, <laughs> and I was like, Oh my, Oh my God. No, you need to, I, well, first of all, I don't think my reaction was like that. But in my mind, I was like, what the fuck? I was just like, um, can you please go baby wipe your dick, please? So even though I can be nice, I'm sure that I that it would have been offensive to a lot of people. And so like, it's not that I have no empathy. I get it. That Sorry, must have been a hard hit for his ego. 
but his reaction was just like shooketh, pissed. He took that remote, he chucked it at the back wall. Where did the remote director. even come from? At we this were point. at our director's <laughs> house in his bedroom, and there was oh, like a TV, no. and the remote was, I guess, nearby. And it was so. I just honestly haven't had a lot of violent experiences with male talent. Yeah, because I feel like they're oftentimes kind of quiet. Did he throw it at you, or he just threw it in the room? At the back of like that my head where the wall would be. So I don't think it was at me. I think it was but purposely was, but still, to scare the, the shit shoot, out of me. Scared, of I was scared for my life because he's such a big guy and he's so just like full of testosterone. I mean, he has like this, you know, presence and aura about him that obviously a lot of people do like. And I was just like, oh my God, what have I done? What have I done? And he just like, uh, the director was like, okay, all right. And then I went in the bathroom, which is like an open floor plan. So it's like a connected bathroom to the, bedroom and then he disappeared downstairs and he like messaged me later that day and was like don't tell anybody this happened and I was like okay and that was like 10 years ago yeah and now we're here (laughs) and we're chatting and I'm not scared of you anymore Nacho because honestly where is he even Nacho, but (laughs) but uh but yeah no (laughs) so hygiene (laughs) I'm glad that you shared that but I also 